Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I'll be reading the August 11th Daily Inspirational Message, the condensed version. It's two paragraphs long, then I'll center myself, say a little prayer, and then make a few comments on the message. And if you find the message of use, please be so kind as to like the video. Thank you for that. Here we go, the title. Forgiveness is an act of love and self-love. Paragraph one. When we forgive a sister, we remind her that her body's temporal thoughts, words, or actions do not represent her eternal loving essence and light-filled soul. The body is a temporal communication device for the soul. In every moment, we have the choice to align with the temporal or the eternal. The temporal is what the ego has programmed us to think that we are, the dust that returns to dust. The eternal in us is the loving essence of God. We are here on earth to represent and share the eternal. To properly represent and share the eternal, we need to forgive and or overlook the judgment-centric fear-based games that the ego plays within its false concept of time. To represent love, we forgive people's programming and fairy tales and instead focus on the love that represents the eternal truth within them. Paragraph two. Today, let us offer deep and sincere gratitude to those who are giving us the opportunities to practice forgiveness. When we forgive those the ego demands we judge, we put into place the building blocks that would help us create the world we came here to experience and that one day all ch our children will inherit. Today, through our choice to forgive, we represent the heavenly state of mind and reject the hell of our own making. It will be the seeds we plant today that, we, that will become the source of substance for our children tomorrow. Today, with forgiveness as our companion, let us see all of God's children through the lens of mercy and grace. Remember that each person we think of or meet is God's child, and He is entrusting us with them. Now, aligned with the loving mind of God, all we need to do is look upon them as God sees us. Today, we forgive our brothers and sisters for their trespasses, as God has forgiven ours. In doing so, we experience ourselves and this world with a heavenly state of mind that God created us to share and enjoy. All right. Forgiveness is an act of love and self-love. Okay, today I'm going to make five points that I trust will assist both of us in the implementation of today's daily inspiration. Point number one. Okay. Let's say we're in a situation and somebody triggers us. We have two choices. We can judge them or we can forgive them. Today we're trying to practice forgiveness. And so we simply remember, okay, every time I've judged my brother, I always end up in a dark place within me. And I feel that judge, uh, those burdens of judgment, the heavy burdens of judgments on me. And so whenever I judge them, because we're all one, I poison myself. So let me not try that today. Let me instead remember, being all one, when I forgive my brother or sister, I heal myself because I free myself from the burden of judgment. And so in point number one, we can either judge or forgive. When we judge, we poison ourselves. When we forgive, we heal ourselves. So that's point number one. Point number two. How can we get closer to that forgiveness mindset? Okay, we can see the situation in our brothers and sisters. We can see the, the temporal uh, part of them, which is what they, their bodies, the dust that returns to dust, what, they, the, the, what their truth is is what they think, say, or do. Or we can focus on their eternal nature, on the journey that they have co-created with the divine, and that we have co-created with, with the divine. 
And so if we judge, if we see them as their thoughts and words and actions, then we're only seeing the body. We're only seeing the temporal. Instead, let us uh, overlook that. Because focusing on their words or their actions or their thoughts only lead us, lead us to judgment, which in essence poison us. And so instead, let us overlook their bodies and look into their eternal essence, which is their souls and the contract they have co-created uh, co with God. And so whatever it is they're going through, whatever it is they're thinking, saying, or doing, it's in, for some reason it's, for, it's going to help them grow, heal, and awaken at their own sacred pace and time. And so whatever it is they're going through is perfect for them. And so let us just remember that, okay, whatever it is they're thinking, that's perfect for them because they have co-created the dreams with God. And so I'm going to trust that and I'm going to overlook what they said, what triggers me, and I'm going to forgive them. And by doing so, I'm going to focus only on their eternal essence and on their eternal contract with source. And by doing so, by me supporting their contract with source, I am recalling that I too have co-designed my journey with God and therefore my journey is also perfect for me even when I do fall into the ego's ditches of judgment. That's point number two. Let us focus on the eternal in them instead of the temporal, on their souls, instead of their bodies. And in doing so, we achieve peace instead of uh, creating pain for them and for ourselves. That's point number two. Point number three. Let us be grateful to our brothers and sisters because all that in reality they're doing when they trigger us is that they're showing us some, some beliefs that live within us that are hurting us, that we can let go of. And so we can practice going from the judgmental state to the forgiving state, from imprisoning our, ourselves within our own minds to freeing ourselves, from focusing on the body to focusing on the eternal. Um, from focusing on conflict and chaos and confusion to deciding, you know what, pardon me, I can have peace instead of this. So in point number three, we thank our brothers and sisters for helping us practice leaving the ego's delusional mindset and coming back into alignment with the mind of God. And that leads us to point number four. Let us use these opportunities when the ego is trying to trigger a judgment in us, to instead say, okay, okay, I've traveled judgment's path a hundred times before, a thousand times before, and never delivers me to, never delivers to me the state of peace. And so let me just practice using this exact same moment to practice aligning with the mind of God, with love, and love's expressions, such as forgiveness and compassion and understanding and mercy and grace. And so we're going to use this opportunity in point number four, not to dive deeper into the darkness of judgment, instead to trigger enough the decision to say, okay, this is a perfect opportunity for me to practice aligning my mind with the mind of God, with love, and love's expressions such as forgiveness and understanding and compassion and mercy and grace. So that's point number four. And point number five. Let us make it our goal before every interaction to make forgiveness our constant companion. And so our goal is to interact with our brothers or sisters, but go into the interaction with forgiveness as our companion. And so no matter what they think, say, or do, if it starts to trigger us, we say, no, 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 wait a second. My goal today is to be aligned with forgiveness, which is an expression of love. And so, if they start to trigger me, I just simply forgive them by focusing on, on their eternal essence instead of what they think, say, or do. By seeing their souls instead of their bodies. And so, in point number five, we simply go into every interaction with our goal already set. 
saying forgiveness is my goal because forgiveness is an act of love not only for my brother but also an act of self-love because when I forgive I free them to experience their reality as they need to or as they co-created with God to experience and in doing so I free myself from the burden of judgment and I heal myself by bringing peace to my mind and joy to my heart and so that's point number five go into the interaction with your goal already set in this case we bring forgiveness along as a companion all right thank you very much for your time I love you very much if you can be so kind as to like this message it would be useful to the YouTube algorithm and God willing we'll see each other tomorrow peace